Hi guys, greetings and salutations. So this is it, the holy grail of beer tenders if you have a couple guests over. Now I know in my last video I called it the big brother of the new 2 liter twerp um, beer tenders, um, but actually it's not made by the Coops company at all. To be honest I, I couldn't really find which company makes it all over the internet if you if you look for it. It says like, oh it's Heineken's new beer dispensing machine. But I don't think it's it's from Heineken, you know, the brewery, the beer maker. All I found is like a, a little sticker on the device itself that says WIC Group, W-I-K, but I don't know about it and I, I didn't Google it yet to be honest, so yeah. Well anyway, if the old beer tender with the 4 liter kegs make you think like, nah, th those kegs run empty real fast, and now the new beer tender system has even smaller kegs. They don't call them. They don't even call them kegs anymore. They're like twerps, uh, two liter, like more or less bottles that are kegged in there. And if you think like, holy crap, that's that's even smaller. What, what am I going to do with it? And I don't feel like like buying two or three or four beer tenders for a party. Then this is the answer. About five years ago, when I made the video on the old beer tender. Um, Super Dungeon Boy asked if there weren't any kegs like 10 liters or something. Back then there weren't. Even the rivaling companies had like four and a half, maybe five liter kegs. So everybody was around the four or five liter range. So this is gonna be awesome. The blade utilizes eight liter kegs. For my American friends that's like eight quarts, almost. Like one gallon is like 3.8 liters, so that's like two gallons and plus a pint. So of course you, you might need more than one if you have like five or eight people over, but it will last you a, a lot longer than a four or even two liter keg. So let's take a look at the machine. So this is the device itself. Pretty neat. It has like cooling fins around the sides and the back part. And I don't know if you can see this. It says like brew a refresh draught the back. Yeah. It comes with its own drip tray of course, machine washable and all. Nothing too fancy. But what I really really like about this is finally, in contrast to the beer tenders, this has some something that snaps into the device itself. Not terribly strong, but it sure beats something that you that you just put in front of it, I think. Small thing I know, but I really like it. So let's turn it on. It has an on switch here on the side. And immediately those trendy analog indicators start lighting up. Here on the bottom you have uh, an indicator about how full your keg still is. And down below is a temperature indicator. Very rudimentary of course, but... Like the new beer tenders, it doesn't actually let you personally control the temperature. So there's no temperature setting. It uh, goes to 2 degrees Celsius as soon as you um, turn it on. Which is, I think, really good because why would you set it for like 4 or 6 degrees when, when you could do that in a fridge? So 2 degrees is perfect for me. Also, I really like this transparent dome top, which is actually two pan. You can see it, right? Let me take it off. So it just rests on there, it's not screwed in or anything. It just, you can just take it off. And there's like a, a rubber gasket in here. And I think now you can see better. You see the space between my fingers two pan to keep the cold in. And also what I really dig about the stone top is that you can make yourself look like a 1950 science fiction movie astronaut. It has quite the right size. Besides the on switch, it also has a switch to pressurize the keg once you put it in and one for the dome lamp, the dome light. It's got LED lighting. So yeah, as you can see, the kegs are considerably larger and heavier since they are 8 liters, more than 2 gallons, obviously. And uh, yeah. I don't have a beer keg here, but uh, that's a Strongbow cider. So nice, it doesn't only have beer, also has cider. I like that. And like with the new beer tender, you don't have to return it to the store to get some money back or, or, or something. 
you just make it empty and then throw it away. So before putting them into the beer tender, the blade, uh, you're supposed to, to cool them in your fridge for like at least 24 hours. Now my fridge is pretty cold, but I would recommend even more than that, maybe 48 hours because they're pretty big. So it doesn't take you an eternity to cool the keg down once you put it in. So the shelf life of these things is kind of like a mixed bag. Sometimes you get one that uh, is only good to go for, for one month in the future, even though it's closed. Um, but you also can receive one that's got like three months or, or even half a year of uh, good shelf life ahead So you can't really control it uh, Since you can't get it at the store at least not at any of the stores I usually visit you have to order this online and it comes with a parcel service within three days, I think and Yeah, that's that and since the blade uses a comparable system to the beer tenders both new and old um, once you put the keg in and opened it, so to speak, uh, the contents are good for like 30 days. So about one month, 8 liters in one month, I think that's doable even if you don't have any guests around. Especially if you're a big old drunkard like yours truly. So this is how it works apparently. You take a well pre-cooled keg, untangle the one-time use hose and the nozzle. Push this part down with one swift motion. And put it in into the blade. You can't really put it in the wrong way. Since there's a kind of guiding system here. Just follow the guiding system all the way. Oh, and uh, remove the cap of course. And uh, yeah, just snap it in there. Closing the lid again. There you go. Well, stop, no, not there you go. You still have to apply the dome. Now to pressurize. shouldn't take too long because it's full and of course the dome lamp oh yeah let me just turn off the surrounding the ambient light so you can appreciate the dome light ain't that pretty I think it's pretty cool if you have it in kind of like a dark bar or something in your man cave in my case my whole apartment is my man cave anyway <laughs> Oh yes, I do love it. Nice design. Of course it's important to give it enough space on the sides and behind. The manual says behind at least 5 centimeters um, to the wall or something. So the air can ventilate and circulate and the cooling unit can do its thing. Oh, and unlike the beer tender, it's not just a glorified thermos with some computer fan on it. It actually has a, a real small compressor, like your usual fridge. So I guess that also explains the higher pricing. And I'm talking about the compressor to cool it, of course, not the compressor. You need to pressurize the keg and pump in the air. The beer tender also has that. Anyway, talking about the pricing, um, well, the blade unit itself is advertised at uh, 399 euros, so basically 400 euros. But there's also some taxes that apply, and so I, I got mine for like, uh, I don't know, like 530 euros. But that included uh, like a welcome package of two kegs of my choice, so I chose the cider for this time. Usually one keg of cider or beer costs like anywhere from 20 to 23 euros. So yeah, I think one keg was, they threw in one keg for free or something, but still it's pretty pricey, I have to admit. But I think it's worth it if you have guests over. It's it's uh, it's a looker for sure with the dome LED lighting and stuff. So, but let's look at the choices you have for beverages. So the choices of drinks to choose from is unfortunately not as large as with the new beer tender, but you've got like an Italian beer, a wheat beer, 
some run-of-the-mill Austrian beers, even a, a beer and lemonade mixture, some alcohol-free Heineken, some regular Heineken, the cider, some, some typical Austrian beers that may be not as usual here in Vienna. Yeah, and that's about it. Sometimes they seem to advertise it with different kegs, like here there's a Tiger beer keg from, from Singa a beer from Singapore. Um, but I can't get that, at least not where I'm living. So it depends on where you're at, I guess. Here it is again. Tiger beer. Yeah, I really like that. A bit on the light side, but still very, very nice to drink. So all we have to do now is just wait until everything's cooled down. I pre-cooled the keg, but I um, turned on the, the blade at room temperature, so it might take a while. Well, actually only about 10 minutes passed, so this device does cool down a lot faster from room temperature level than the even the new beer tender. So let's see it. Here you go. All cooled down. Let's have a drink, shall we? Oh yeah. So yeah, there's not too much foaming because it's a cider, obviously not beer. Everything feels kind of really solid and, and really nice. Real heavy and solid. And like with the new beer tender, you have to hold this all the way while filling. There's no, no um, set position that it snaps into or something. Well, prost, cheers and kampai. Let's see how it goes. Mm. Ice cold. Those crispy two degrees Celsius sure make a difference to the fridge. Mm. I have to be honest with you, usually I prefer like ciders that are not as sweet, the more on the stronger side. But it's nice to have something different than a beer every once in a while. Thank you so much for watching.